In the third and fourth videos in this series, I showed some FCP XML collections, which I put together to give you easy access to hard to find animatics, titles, and transitions. I also showed how iMovie supports drop shadows, but only by applying them in an FCP XML file. I've also discovered that masks can be imported into iMovie as well. Not just any mask, but a variety of mask types. Bezier masks, spline masks, and a shape mask. Even better is that these all support on-screen controls. This means that you don't need to work with the shapes I've provided in the iMovie Masks FCP XML collection. In fact, you can edit the masks by moving, adding, or deleting the control points right in iMovie. You can also multi-select or edit control point properties. The best part about my discovery is that the masks support keyframes. Keyframes can also be edited and added in iMovie itself. Unfortunately, keyframes cannot be deleted. So it's important not to add an incorrect keyframe as it will be difficult to remove without re-importing the clip. Let's complete the sensor effect that we started in the last video. I'll edit the FCP XML file to point to the video of the puppet policeman we used with the pixelate effect. As before, import the FCP XML file into iMovie by dragging it into the application. If iMovie won't highlight to indicate it'll accept the file, right-click or control-click on iMovie and select Show Package Contents. Go back to the previous folder and now it should import just fine. Remember to select the library where you want to import the project. For most users, this will be the iMovie library. All the masks are labeled. For this project, the shape mask with the keyframe will be what we need. Let's delete the unneeded clips. Now let's move the playhead to frame 1 and start our keyframing. Let's round out the mask. I'll hold Option to get a circle mask and place it in the right place. Now I'm going to Shift and Cursor key to move a few frames at a time as I adjust the mask. It looks like our mask is tracking. Now we'll need the original media. Right click on the clip and choose Reveal in Project Media. Here you can see the original clip here. Let's bring that onto the timeline. And we have one without a mask and one with a mask. Now we're gonna bring the mask clip on top of the other clip. So you can see, it doesn't look like much of anything, but let's now apply the pixelate effect that we added in the previous episode. That's how you make the sensor effect in iMovie. In the next video, we'll look at how to recreate the intro to the Brady Bunch. The template I've created will make this simple. It's quick, easy, and best of all, free.